Bear with me, but I want you to think about voting in New York this year amidst the pandemic as learning to catch a ball as a kid. Early on, you're probably dropping the ball more than you're catching it. Let's call that the June primary. Tens of thousands of voters were disenfranchised because of absentee ballots that did not show up on time or were tossed out in the end because of issues with signatures and postmarking. But as time goes on and you keep practicing... Practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make progress. Susan Lerner, executive director of Common Cause New York, a government watchdog and election reform group, says that's where we are now with voting ahead of the November election. More on the ball. I'm happy to say that New York looked at some of the issues around the June primary and decided to make some very pro-voter changes. Of course, who knows what will happen during game time when voting begins. But for now, ballots are going out sooner. A big red X is being placed near the signature line. Clearly marked drop boxes will be at all polling places, and there's ballot tracking. New York even now has a way for you to fix your ballot if there's a disqualifying issue, like a missing signature. Previously, you were out of luck. It was not going to be counted. The speed of counting should also be much improved. While results in close races like New York's hotly contested congressional battle in Staten Island and Brooklyn won't have an election night result, it also won't take a month like it took to decide Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney's primary race. Here in New York City, the Board of Elections has purchased high-speed sorting machines. Lerner says this will mean counting of absentee ballots will begin within 48 hours, instead of nearly two weeks after Election Day, which is what happened in June. She expects results in close races to take seven to ten days after Election Day. As far as concerns mainly raised by the president about counting taking too long in swing states for the general election, Lerner reminds us this is nothing new during a time of crisis, and election night winners are largely an invention of modern television. When you think of the history of our country, um, during Lincoln's time, you cast your ballot for president and you might not find out who the winner was for a month or more. Um, and the country went on just fine. Another thing different between the June primary and this coming general election in New York, there'll be no prepaid postage for absentee voters, so you have to put a stamp on that envelope. Everything you need about registering to vote and voting in person or absentee at PIX11.com, and that applies to not just New York, but New Jersey and Connecticut. In Prospect Park, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.